Hey, we're all here to create visually stunning renders. We can throw in nice models, good textures, have a good composition, some HDRI maybe, and call it a day. But telling a story with your renders can make them even more captivating. Constructing a narrative can bring your artwork to life and engage your viewers at a whole new level. It's like you're talking to them through your creation. Here we have a project file open. Let's dissect this together. The brightest point of the image, the mining tower, sets the stage for our narrative because the eyes are generally guided through the brightest point in the frame. That's why when you add vignette to the image, it kind of subtracts the peripheral areas of the image and your eyes are drawn to the middle. Our story begins deep underground, where rocks are diligently excavated and brought to the surface. As the rocks emerge, they glide down to the ground following this ramp. This already sparks curiosity in the mind. We wonder, hmm, okay, where are these rocks coming from? But importantly, where are they heading? The rocks now make way towards a conveyor belt and then they reach the end of the belt. And at the end of the belt, they reach the furnace, where they will be melted down. So this shows a step-by-step -step progression of the story of the rock. We think, hmm, will this be molded into something new, or will this serve a different purpose altogether? We don't know yet. Let's go further. From the furnace, the molten material travels through rail system, making its way into storage unit. The puzzle is complete visualizing the entire process and appreciating the interaction between elements. A story unfolding in a single image. So now you might be thinking, okay, this is fine and well, but that is for this particular image. How can I create my own captivating story? Let's address that. Tip number one, start with a focal point. Choose an element in your scene that will serve as anchor for your story. It could be a visually striking object, a character that captivates the viewer's attention right from the start, or anything else. Tip 2. Create a sense of progression. Think about the journey the object or character will undertake within your scene. Use visual cues like parts, arrows, leading lines. They will just guide the viewer's eye to convey a sense of movement and progression. Tip 3. Incorporate symbolism. Objects or actions within your render can carry deeper meanings, evoking emotions and sparking the viewer's imagination. Imagine a portrait of a wrinkled, sad face. It makes you think of the struggles that the character must have been through during his lifetime. It's a story in itself. Tip 4. Leave room for imagination. Allow your viewers to fill in the gaps and imagine their own stories within your render. A touch of ambiguity can make your artwork even more thought-provoking and encourage deeper meaning. In our render, after the storage unit, we have nothing. And we leave it up to the viewer to interpret what happened to the rocks after that. Remember, Every great render has a story to tell. So the next time you embark on your new project, consider the narrative you want to convey. Immerse your viewers in a world where imagination knows no bounds. Let's wrap it up with this in mind. I hope you found these ideas inspiring and helpful in your creative endeavors. I'll see you in the next chapter.